Hi everyone, welcome back to Florida Trends Business Beat. I'm Ami Alexander with the Can't Miss Stories for the week of August 18th, 2023. Don't have a hot tub? Mother Nature has got you covered. The Gulf of Mexico posted record average surface temperatures last month. July's jump, two degrees above normal, has forecasters on watch as the height of storm season approaches. Not to be outdone by rising prices in the homeowner sector, automobile insurance is getting in on the increased trend. Post-pandemic inflation in parts and repair costs are sending insurance rates surging across the country, and drivers around Florida can expect a bitter bump with upcoming policy renewals. FPNL has hit peak demand several times this season, and utilities elsewhere in the state have set back-to-back -back power records last week. Florida's power grid is being taxed to its limits as air conditioner units clock serious overtime to combat the summer's intense heat. A party of plaintiffs has put forward a challenge to the state's incoming higher education overhaul. A lawsuit from a group of new college faculty members and students alleges incoming changes threaten free speech and academic liberty. The suit is the second legal dispute issued against the new law. Aldi, last year's fastest growing supermarket chain, is making its presence known in the Southeast and in the Sunshine State. The German grocer announced its acquisition of Winn-Dixie earlier this week, in a deal expected to close in early 2024. And that's your beat for the week of August 18th. We'll see you next week.